Time for the weather now with Sarah Keith Lucas. Hello. Hi, George. Well, it's been a day of sunny spells, but also heavy showers too. And that scene was captured quite nicely by one of our weather watchers in Mountain Ash, South Wales. You can see the blue skies there, but also those big dark shower clouds that have been looming as well. So heavy showers are set to continue through the course of this evening and overnight. We've still got low pressure firmly in charge of things out towards the east and rotating around that low pressure, brisk winds and heavy showers too. In fact, there could be severe gales through parts of Western Scotland, Northern Ireland, through those Irish sea coasts in particular. Temperature-wise overnight, around about 1 to 6 Celsius for our towns and cities, but in the countryside, certainly colder than that. And there could well be a frost and as well as some icy stretches first thing Tuesday morning. So do take care on any untreated surfaces. There could be some slippery roads around and some icy patches too. So after the chilly start to the day, it's another day of some sunny intervals, but heavy blustery showers. Heavy showers across parts of Scotland and they will be falling as snow on top of the hills. For Northern Ireland, there's a chance of seeing some hail and some thunder mixed in with those showers. Sunny intervals and showers across parts of northern England, blustery winds around these Irish sea coasts. There'll also be a little bit of hill snow to come across central parts of Wales, but further south through southern and central England, quite a bit of dry and bright weather to be seen here. But it will be feeling quite chilly, particularly where you're exposed to that northwesterly breeze. So a real wind chill in tomorrow's forecast. The heaviest of the showers rolling out of Northern Ireland in across parts of Wales and the Midlands too. Some hill snow for parts of Wales and for Scotland. But there will be some drier, some brighter weather with some sun shine as well and highs around five to eight celsius reasonably typical of the time of year but things certainly turning colder through the course of this week as you can see so things are feeling more like winter and certainly less like spring that's how it's looking george sarah thank